Hi, my name is Karen Boniker, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack for painter essentials called Colored Pencils. I really enjoy working with pencils, um, especially colored pencils. Very versatile uh, variant to work with. But let me show you uh, basically how to work with these brushes and to get the best effects. So the first brush is called Big Bold. And um, you can increase the size of this brush uh, in terms of the tip size based upon the project that you're working on. And I think I'm using this, I've decided to use this brush to create the sky. So I'm going to pick a color over here and just start working into it. And you can see that it's, it's very, um, it just feels like uh, colored pencils. I, I just love working with it. Um, it has a very textured effect. Um, and I do like the way that the colors build up and there's uh, some nice transparency within these brushes as well. So it's a really um, beautiful um, variant uh, colored pencils to work with to create the effect of um, very traditional colored pencils. So I'm just going to pull in a few more colors here just to kind of show you how these blend so nicely. And they all basically are going to be working with uh, paper texture, um, so you can always apply that as well. When I'm picking colors, uh, typically what I do is use my Alt key uh, on my keyboard to, to pick additional colors that I want to work with. So we'll just leave it like that at this point and go on to the next brush called Fine Tip. Um, this one is great for using uh, in areas where you're, uh, you really need to have some more, co more control, some finer control of certain areas. Um, I tend to work with them with a very traditional hatching approach uh, so I can show some nice texture and then I can also kind of play up my values as I move over each existing color. I really enjoy the way that uh, the colors kind of combine. It just really feels like working with traditional colored pencils. That's fine tip. Uh, the shading pencil is another one that's good if you're looking to fill in an area pretty quickly and get that area established. You know, you can change the brush size. It's uh, almost as if um, when I created this brush, I wanted it to have that appearance of taking a colored pencil and using a um, a shaver, a, a knife shaver, where you actually shave off the um, the colored pencil color, and it gives a very powdery effect. And this is the uh, the look that I was looking for here. And I think it comes really close, so I was really pleased with that. So good again for covering, you know, big, bold areas that you need to get in quickly. Okay, that's shading pencil. The next brush is smooth, and it is a, uh, a brushy type of colored pencil. It has a little bit of um, uh, texture to it, but it also has a very brushy effect. So um, this is how I would use it is, uh, again, you can use it for high detailed areas, um, areas where you need to fill in color pretty quickly. And I'll just kind of go over this area and show you how I would do that. So you can see it's very brushy and expressive. Love it. That's smooth. The next brush is Smudge Pencil. And this one, um, this one is important that I show you the technique for using it. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a bit here and go over to the side so you can see this. I'm going to pick, for example, this nice purple here. And I'm going to 
put in some brush strokes. You can see it picks up paper texture. It's picking up that nice um, sandy uh, pastel paper right now. But what is key here is as I keep going over these areas, you can see how I put more pressure on the brush or firmer pressure on the stylus against the tablet. Notice how the edges start to blend and I can actually blend with this brush as well. So if there are areas here where you want to blend colors into existing colors, then keep the pressure down on your stylus and you'll create a nice uh, blending quality with still lots of texture. Um, maybe I go over here, do a little darker area here and start putting firm pressure in on this area. And now the blending starts. So firmer pressure. And you've got to work at it until it starts to come, but you're going to love the way the colors kind of blend together. Almost as if you took a, a chamois and just smudged these colors nicely. Very soft edge as well. That smudge pencil. Soft cover, again, another brush uh, that you can use for, uh, you know, creating uh, and covering large areas. So um, I love the texture of this brush. We'll zoom out a little bit. And you can use it. Uh, see the see the nice sandy texture you get from the paper texture it's picking up. And again, this one, as you put firmer pressure on it, you're going you're gonna to get a, some soft edges and blending as well. OK, that is soft cover. Uh, the next brush is, is a soft edged blender. And um, let's just pick some areas here and do a little bit of blending. And you can see it's just picking up the soft edges, kind of a very watery type of blender. But, uh, you know, the idea with uh, colored pencils is to, you know, build up these value areas and then create these nice sketchy marks. So that is a soft edge blender. This brush is called Stipple and I'm going to um, zoom in here so I can show this to you. I'm going to start with a, a real dark green as I start to stipple in this area. And it's the same effect that if you were using a um, colored pencil and you were using a dot or stipple effect, a stipple brush stroke or stipple stroke. So you want to fill in I'd even go a little darker with that. Uh, you'll want to fill in your darkest values here. This is real nice uh, when you're using it for creating uh, trees and textures within the trees. So we'll get that stipple in. And we'll go right down into that area, that corner here, get nice and dark. And then we'll work our values up. Okay, so as we go in more to the middle area, we'll bring the, val the value of that color up a little bit, a little lighter. And then as we get to the top where most of the highlights are, then you can add your, you know, your nice little highlights with a stipple brush as well. Real nice brush to work with. Um, I've also used it for creating texture, like uh, a good example would be maybe if you wanted to create a little bit of texture on the stairs here or anywhere. Um, I've used it to create sand. 
little stones along the river. So pretty, pretty versatile variant. It's stipple and the next brush is um, Tortillon Blender. And this one I'll use up here in the sky so you can kind of see how this one works. A uh, very traditional type of blender. And I love the way it doesn't disrupt too much. It keeps the edges pretty intact, which I like. So anywhere where you're looking to, to blend. One of my favorite blenders. Okay, the last brush is called Wet Blender and this one has a, if I'll zoom in so you can really see what happens with this brush stroke. You can see that it has a very wet appearance. Uh, it really moves the colors around and it's a nice little brush for you know creating texture or creating a little bit different effect in certain areas that you might want to play with. You know here it's good because it's creating a little bit of extra texture in that area. Use it to pull out a shadow here on the side. And then maybe even create a little extra effect of texture down here. And that is the Wet Blender. So these are the colored pencils for Painter Essentials, and I know you're going to enjoy working with them. Take care.